Ugh. God, I just, oh God, I just, ugh, just got to, oh, ugh. God damn, sorry guys. This stuff reeks, it reeks, it smells like eggs and mint and sulfur and it's gnarly. Today we are going to be destroying these silver dollars with some very harsh chemical cleaner. I wonder what's gonna happen. How you doing everybody? Welcome to Empire Precious Metals. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure you blast that subscribe button, get the bell notification clicks. That way you get updated with any new content. Today, what I wanted to do is essentially take a previous, I guess, I guess you could call it an experiment, a little bit further. Now, about a month or so ago, I posted a YouTube shorts showing what happens when you clean a coin by dipping it into this easiest coin cleaner. Um, and I did another video showing the same thing, but actually going for a full day. Now, this stuff here says that you essentially should not dunk these coins for really any longer than five seconds. And really, uh, essentially, absolutely no more than 15 seconds. Um, really, they say, like, stick within, like, a five-second range. Then you rinse the coin in water, dab it, take a look at it. If you need to dip it again, dip it for about five seconds and just, uh, you know, rinse and repeat. But, you know, a lot of people, they feel like these types of cleaners should not be used on coins because they essentially damage coins or they can ruin the value of coins, which is uh, absolutely true in most cases. But when you're talking coins like this, junk silver coins, and I'm calling these junk, even though some people feel like Morgan and Peace dollars belong in like a separate category than junk silver. But these are cull. And when I say cull, I... <coughs> <coughs> but these are cull coins. And when you say cull, you essentially are talking about damage. Like you can see this one, it's got scratches all on her face. Um, this one, I don't really know why this was in the cull box at the, probably because of all these dents, I guess, along the edge and the rim. That's probably why this one is a cull coin. And this one, you could see a, a scratch across the face, a dent up there. Um, so these, yeah, these are damaged coins, right? So you essentially can buy these for a little bit cheaper than you typically would be able to buy you know, higher grade over the counter type of coins like this without uh, being graded. So here's what we are going to do. These three coins, they essentially are equal when it comes to the amount of wear and tear and toning. And so I'm thinking what we are going to do is we are going to dip these coins for one week, two weeks and four weeks. Um, essentially what I was going to do was now that I'm thinking about it, I was going to do one coin for two weeks, one coin for one week, one coin for four weeks. But we can essentially just leave them all in there for one week, take them out, check on the progress, follow up two weeks after that or whatever. So I think that's what we're going to do, right? What do you guys think? All right, so that's what we're going to do. That's going to make things a lot easier. I don't need this anymore. I don't need to keep track. So just so you guys know, I'm recording this video on Saturday, September 2nd. And uh, we are going to leave these in for one week. Then we're going to leave them in for check on them in two weeks and then check on them again at the four week mark and do like a before, middle and after type photos. All right. So without further ado, this stuff smells like mint and sulfur. Yucky, yucky. All right. Looks like, mmm, look at all that. Yum. All right. So. You're not supposed to do this for longer than five seconds. And there's one, two, and then here's the, what is this, 1887? Well, whatever. Three. And that stuff stinks. And we're going to leave it here. We're going to check back on September, seven days from now, September 9th. All right. So. That's it. Let's see what happens at the one week mark. Later. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we dipped the coins on 9 2. And so we are now actually uh, about a week after. Um, 
let's see. Today's actually Monday, September 11th. So I forgot to take them out a couple days ago. Very busy. So let's see what we got here, right? We're just a little bit over a week time period now. And we're going to be putting these back in. All right. So let's see. After today, we will be putting these back in. Now, remember the three coins, they had a little bit of toning on them. Um, let's see how these are after. That's looking pretty weird. It's like almost like some sort of like, you see, it looks like crystals and everything on there. <laughs> it stinks. I got a little too close. Stinks like egg. Jesus. Oh, it stinks bad. All right, so this is, oh my God. All right, so this is a week. God, I want to put this back in there. It stinks. All right, so this is one week after. Looks like it's sizzled off the coin. Look at this thing. Pew. All right, and you can see where it was resting on the other coins there, but we're looking at the the finish, essentially, on the coin after a week. This is totally toasting the coin. Now, again, these were cull, so I'm not worried about the value of these going down. Here's... The peace dollar, we're going to be putting these back in. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head what the peace dollar looked like. I'll try to put some B-roll footage of the coins beforehand as I'm speaking now. But you can still see some crud in front of her face on top of her head up there. Um, a little bit on the edge or the rim. It, it really looks like it's eroding the uh, different fields entirely. You see some pitting there. And uh, yeah, it's it's definitely doing something to the coins, right? Eating it away. And then this is the bottom coin. This was the, uh, yeah, there's like crystallization sort of stuff. I don't know what it is. It's like a gritty, sandy type of stuff. Man, oh man, this stuff stinks. Oh my God. All right. So this is an 1889. Um, you can see that it looks just, really like flat in terms of color right there's not a real distinct difference between the different uh fields other than around the face you could see some of the old gritty grime stuff dirt up there patina down here let's flip her over all right you can see uh underneath the bird but again it looks like it's really eroding away a lot of the coin what I should have done, and I'm only thinking about this now, and we'll do a future experiment. Will this eat away the silver content of a particular coin? You know, if we put it in and it weighs, let's say, an ounce, and then we take it a month later, take it out and see the difference, like what it does. So anyway, oh my God, put that back in there. God, this stinks. All right, we're going to put this right back inside. We're not even going to rinse them. That is disgusting. Oh, and then we're going to put this. Jesus, it stinks so bad. Holy crap. Oh, my God. All right. And then we'll seal this back up. I can only imagine what this stuff is going to reek like in, uh, you know, on 916. Let me just get my I don't want to put this directly on my desk. So I will as I bang into the iPod and try iPod tripod. All right, we're going to check back here in another week on around the 16th. And then after that, on October 2nd, the finale to see what they look like. And then we will rinse them in the sink. But that stuff reeks. I could always already see a difference. All right, we'll see you in about one week's time. One eternity later. Okay, so it is September 16th two weeks after the dip and we're gonna check what these look like um i'm doing this outside now because last time i did this in the office oh my good god it stunk for a day just that small uh brief time period that i opened up this this jar it just it reeked the next day i went into the office and i was like oh my god it still stinks in here so let me open this thing up and let's see what these coins look like. All right, I got it open. Let's take a look inside. Uh, that is looking pretty gnarly. It's getting yellow in color. 
it oh my god it really does stink pretty bad um let's take out the first coin here and see what we've got this stuff just reeks reeks i tell you okay so all right let's take a look here uh this coin i mean it is getting really it looks like it's just getting worn down almost um compared to what it was you still have that ring from the uh, coins underneath, but you can see um, just how different this thing looked from when we first dipped it. Let's take a look at the next coin, the second coin. And again, we're gonna then leave these in for two weeks. So this peace dollar now, um, you know, it's, it's not looking that much different, but they are all kind of looking a lot more flat if you will the fields seem to be i don't know it, 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 again this is just my opinion they look a little bit flatter i don't know if it's they're actually being eroded or not but now let's take a look at this last one um like i said next time we do this experiment maybe we will you know weigh them and then uh, leave them in for a month and then take them out and see if there's any difference to the weight. Again, you, st you still see the black patina around there, but it just looks like the details are getting less and less the longer we leave these coins in here. And again, like you can see this, almost like this crystallization, this sludgy stuff all in there. It's pretty gnarly. Uh, so, bleh. God, I just, oh God, I just, bleh. just got to, oh, bleh. God damn, sorry guys. This stuff reeks, it reeks, it smells like eggs and mint and sulfur and it's gnarly. Anyway, whew, we're gonna leave this in for two more weeks and then see what these coins look like. So October 2nd is when I'll come back out here. I'm gonna, I'm seriously gagging here. This stuff reeks so bad. All right, I'm gonna turn this off. I got, I gotta close this thing. All right, bye. Three weeks later. All right, so it's October 1st, and um, originally I was going to open this up on October 2nd, which would have been exactly 30 days, but I figured, you know what, I'm, I'm impatient. What's the difference of a day? We all get the, the gist, right? It's, it's a month of leaving coins sitting in this easiest coin cleaner. Now, I already unscrewed this a little bit, and uh, the smell is just disgusting. I'm doing this outside on the deck um that looks absolutely disgusting usually it's like a bluish color um oh my god it stinks really bad i absolutely am going to dump this uh easiest cleaner um after after this video so let's take a look at the first coin i'm gonna reach in here actually let's take a look that just looks like sludge it looks like a, a pool um that's not been taken care of for at least you know a couple of years um, all right, so this is obviously looking pretty uh, flat in terms of, you know, just the, the contrast of the different depths of the, of the fields here. Um, again, I will rinse it. You can see just where it was sitting on top of the other coins, that ring that it left. So we're going to leave that one there. And this one, the first one being, what is that, 1887? Um, and I'll do these as like a giveaway or something to some people that are watching this. So what, now what do we got here? We got the uh, peace dollar. This is the, what is this, the 1922? All right. Like I said, I'm going to rinse these off, give them a quick bath in the in the kitchen sink. And there's like crystals in there. It, it It's pretty gnarly. And again, the smell, thank God the wind is blowing the smell away from me and then this is the 1889 um you know let's see here so again these have been bathed for over a month submerged in this easiest cleaner and um you know it still hasn't gotten all of that you know the the dirt and the grime there that you see those dark gray areas but why don't we go uh, rinse these and then take a closer look when we get into the office a few inches later Okay, so the moment of truth, it is essentially a month after we started this experiment, okay? Coins went in for their bath on September the 2nd. We started with the uh, 
87 Morgan dollar and um, you know it had your typical run-of-the-mill toning uh, some scratches and what have you it was a circulated cull silver dollar uh, then you also had the 1922 piece dollar also had its you know typical run-of-the-mill um, you know toning and, and what have you and same thing then with the 1889 uh, I think it's a New Orleans so these three coins all had their fair share of toning, scratches, etc. That's why they had the designation of being cull coins. And that's why I decided to use them for this experiment. And in fact, if you've made it this far into the video, I'm going to reward you. You're going to have the chance to win one of these silver dollars. In fact, we will uh, do a live drawing on an upcoming stream. I'll post it in the community tab. But the comment that you're going to have to put down below... Uh, is going to be, I don't mind culls. And I strongly suggest that you use that phrase in one to two sentences, so that way it's not completely obvious to other people who want the opportunity to win. So something like, you know, hey, Stormy, I don't mind culls as long as I'm getting them for a good deal. Or I don't mind culls as long as I'm getting them as a gift. Or, you know, sometimes I only buy them because I don't mind culls. Something like that. So put something like that in the comments down below and stay tuned on the community tab because I will let you know when we are having the drawing. That being said, all right, let's get back to this. So one week we did the check-in. It made my office stink um, for a couple of days. And so then that way, that's the reason why the week after the two week mark, I did everything outside and then we let them soak even longer for two weeks. Again, like I said, today's October 1st, but I'm impatient. I wanted to get this done. So let's take a look at how they did. So this is the first one, the 1887. And you can see, I'll do this over here. There is a big difference between the two coins. You can see all the toning is gone. Um, I have to tell you, the feel of the coins are very different. Now, the ring around this coin, what's interesting is that this formed while it was in the uh, in the bath um, and none of the other coins ended up getting this ring on it, but it has a very slick, almost rubbery feel to it. It's a very bizarre feeling. Um, so it's smoothed down quite a bit. And, you know, you're supposed to, when you do the easiest dips, you, you leave them in there for just, like I said, five, ten seconds at the most. And then you rinse them with water and you blot them dry. These were sitting in there for a month. It caused that that liquid to turn from a minty blue to like a bog green. Looks like, you know, Shrek's dirty diaper or something like that. So anyway, you could tell big difference between the two coins right there. Um, it definitely feels like it, it was worn down quite a bit. Uh, next one, we've got the 1922 piece dollar. Again, you could see a big difference between how the coin looked uh, originally um, and how it looks now. And um, this one doesn't look as bad as that one. Um, you know, this one still has, uh, you know, a little bit of luster to it. Not a lot. But, uh, you know, you could still see some of the, the dirt in the different fields there. You flip it over. I mean, I wish, you know, some of you will be able to win this coin. They feel like polished. They feel like blank planchets almost. Like it's, it's, it's hard to explain how just how smooth they feel. Um, they smell. They stink. <laughs> this is this is an experiment I wouldn't suggest you guys try at home. Um, but so here is the twenty two. Okay, still has got that ninety percent silver content in there. Still has value, but uh, definitely no longer anything that can be collected. And then this is the eighteen eighty nine. Also really smoothed down. Um, just has a, such a strange, glossy kind of squeaky feel to it. Uh, you can still see the scratches on her cheek. If we get up real close, you can see that gash right across her face there. She's been in a couple bar brawls. Uh, you can still see Liberty made out there on, um, on her hair, on the, uh, tiara or whatever the heck you call it, her crown, whatever. Um, still see the New Orleans. It doesn't seem like it necessarily eroded that much of the fields or anything like that, but you can definitely see and you certainly can feel that this coin has been dipped and cleaned to some degree. So anyway, uh, the findings are, yes, leaving these coins in for a month definitely 
does some drastic things to the coins. Um, and like I said, you are going to want to pay attention uh, to the community tab and get your chance to win one of these. It's going to be one per person. All right. So stay tuned because I don't know exactly when I'm going to drop this video, but I will make a note in the uh, in the in the community pa 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 community tab as to when the drawing for the silver coins will be. All right. So anyway, let me know in the comments down below. Have you ever cleaned any of your silver coins? If so, what did you clean? Why did you do it? And remember, don't do this with your coins. But these were calls that were already beat to hell. So I figured, why not? In the name of science, let's see what happens. So anyway, let me know in the comments down below. Have you ever done anything like this?